Hello and welcome to video number four on the XR pistol. You probably already noticed there's a Quest 2 controller sitting in here right now. That is because Quest 2 controller and 3 with the exact same controller is going to be coming out of the box on day one. I've also been doing a lot of work on the trigger, so we'll get into that after Quest 2 support. I'll show you functionality here first. So if you take a look right here in that button underneath for our slide rack, when I pull here, that activates our button here for slide rack. And our magazine state, if you watch this one right here, when I take the magazine out, presses that button down, puts this back up in here. So if I change over now, exact same controller, I'm going to throw in a Quest 3 controller, and I'll show you all these again. So let's throw that magazine in again. And right here, there's our slide rack, activates this and we will take out our magazine. You can see here that button is all the way up here. It's right at that point. So when I take it out, this presses here. So we have the exact same setup working for both controllers. Now, in addition to Quest 2 and Quest 3 controller support, I have been working on accuracy for magazines. So this is a 17 round SIG 320 mag. So we come at 9.53 ounces, and if I put my training magazine here, we're at just shy of 9 ounces. Now, I've got as a reference here my laser shot training pistol. So if I put this magazine on here, you'll see this is well under 3 ounces. Plus, the other really annoying thing, it is much shorter than a standard magazine. Normally, that mag would have come up here because you can see this is... 17 round style, maybe 15, but it's noticeably shorter and the weight just throws a lot of training off like that. What we have here, this has a cool fire training barrel in it. So when we take a look here at our trigger comparisons, we're going to be looking at that and that is our next phase of this. So I'm going to go ahead and I will wake up our pool gauge here, get this calibrated. So is that ready? Yep, that is ready right now. So we'll clear that. And I don't have a vice or anything for this, so you're going to have to bear with my hacky attempts at measurements. I also have no clue where to put this for a flat trigger, only for round ones. So my phase one was right there. Uh, stage one, I should say. So stage one comes up to the wall, right shy of a pound, and then I'm pulling here. And our break... So that's sitting at like 7.5 right now because I have this torqued down a bit. I have adjustment screws in multiple places. So this screw that's right in here, this is for the travel before we get to the wall. And so by adjusting that, I've just for now got a placeholder screw in here because it was about the right size so that I could test there. The spring right here, this is a 5 by 10 millimeter 0. 0.6. That can be changed up or... No, this I think might be the 0. 0.8. But swapping between this changes your pool weight for stage 1 before you hit that wall. Changing this changing this will end up changing your actual pull and break weight. And then you balance the weight of this with how much tension you put on this spring so that it will reset that. And so come up to that wall here. Once you're at the wall, you pull, you've got your break, you've got your reset. Now, it's not a really sharp reset, but when we compare that to our laser shot pistol here, there is no wall whatsoever. It just pulls all the way up until it goes, whereas we have that wall that you hit right here. Now, when we compare that to, there's an apex trigger that's in here. I come up, I hit that wall. And then I add the force, and you've got your really short, oops, you have your really short reset there. So shoot, short reset, up to here and ready to go again. When you compare that to the reset on the laser shot, I come, I pull that trigger, and now moving, 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 now it reset. So to see from this side, break, moving, 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 reset. And we take a look here, and you'll see, come hit the wall, break, moving, moving, there's the reset, 
and then it's ready to go again. So when we take a look at that over here, we come up, we hit that wall. That was not as sharp as I was looking for, so I'll just adjust real quick. And I'll make this a little bit tighter. Come up, here's that wall. Yep, wall, and there's the break, the reset, the break, and the reset. So by having these so that they're adjustable, it makes it so that we are able to try and mimic whatever it is that we are going for. So there is our short summary of everything, and hope you enjoyed. Thanks for joining.